So for about the last five years, I've been on a little bit of a journey to get rid of strawberry legs. It's essentially like clogged pores on your legs, which sounds kind of gross. And it can be like kind of embarrassing, especially in like the summertime when you want to wear dresses and shorts and whatever. It's like, it's just so annoying. And a lot of times it can kind of be intensified by shaving. And if you have like sensitive skin. So I've been trying a bunch of different methods, trying to figure out how I can resolve this issue. And if some of you guys have been around for a while you may remember when I tried out IPL I am kind of hoping that I can use this instead of shaving because I get really bad razor burn my skin is like really sensitive for some reason I've tried like all kinds of things like better shaving gels I've tried better quality razors I've tried like so many things and it's just not working. I hate shaving. I always get razor burn, which is um, intense pulse light. Basically it's similar to like a laser hair removal, but it's safe to do at home. So I did that back in 2020 and I may touch on that at the end, like towards the end of this video. So today's video is about the First Day Beauty KP Bump Eraser. So I've been using this for the past two years to see if it gets rid of my strawberry legs. So in today's video, I'm gonna be giving you like my two year review with before and after pictures to see see what the difference has been. Has there been improvements? Have I completely cleared my strawberry legs? We'll find out. This product is called the KP Bump Eraser. So KP is short for ketosis pilaris. So that is actually not the same thing as strawberry legs. So KP is like raised bumps on your skin, typically on like your arms. Strawberry legs is completely flat. It's just a clogged pore. This isn't really marketed for strawberry legs, but it is a chemical and physical exfoliator. So a lot of people use this for strawberry legs. I probably like you have watched tons and tons of videos on YouTube on different techniques and methods to get rid of strawberry legs and KP. So a common thread throughout all of those different videos is basically just the process in which you shave your legs. Like I mentioned, shaving can kind of intensify the um, appearance of strawberry legs. So the way you shave really matters. So here is kind of the process that I have seen time and time again on YouTube and what I implemented into my routine to try and get rid of the strawberry legs. So before you shave, you really want to have your legs in the hot water for as long as possible to really open up the follicle, soften the hair, whether you're taking a bath or a shower. This is true. You don't just want to like get straight in or get your legs a little bit wet before shaving. So you really want to make sure that your legs are in the water for as long as possible before you actually shave. So so I've been doing that. And then the next thing is you always want to exfoliate. So that is where this KP bump eraser comes in. Now I've seen girls use lots of different things, even like homemade scrubs. Um, the reason I got this is just because I believe this has like yeah, this has AHA, which is a chemical exfoliant on top of a physical exfoliant. So I wanted both to kind of get like the most for my money, so to speak, and just to get like the most exfoliation possible to clear it up as quickly as I could. After I am in the shower for a little bit, I exfoliate my legs with this. And then the next thing lots of people recommend is just making sure that you have a new and really sharp razor. You don't want an old razor that's been sitting in your shower for a month. Um, you really want to make sure that you're keeping up with changing out your razor blade because a dull razor can sometimes make these like symptoms worse, irritate your skin and cause more issues. So I signed up for Dollar Shave Club. This is not an ad for them. I'm actually not like the biggest fan. I thought I was until I found something better, which I'm going to talk about the razor I use in a second. It's also not sponsored by them, but um, I used Dollar Shave Club for the longest time because I was like, okay, I'm just going to change out my razor blade as much as I can. And hopefully that will get rid of my strawberry legs. Like maybe it's just caused by irritation, dull blades, whatever. So I tried that out. I was like religious and switching out my blades and making sure I had a sharp one every time I shaved. And that wasn't really doing anything for me. I wasn't noticing any major improvements. And the Dollar Shave Club razors are actually like pretty harsh on my skin in particular. I don't feel like I have necessarily like um, sensitive skin, but maybe those are just more geared towards men. And um, I don't know. I just, now that I've tried a razor mint for women, 
women, I really notice a difference in how gentle a razor should be. That, I'll go ahead and talk about it, that is the Billy Razor. So a lot of influencers do really promote this product. That's why I bought it. I did buy this with my own money. This isn't sponsored. I did reach out to them and ask them for at least like a discount code or something for you guys. So we'll see if they give us one or not. Um, my expectations are low, but I love this. I bought this at Kroger just like a couple weeks ago maybe and it is just so soft and gentle on my skin I notice like I have way less irritation than what I had even with the Dollar Shave Club razors and overall I just really really love this I used to not be able to shave my legs like constantly because the razors were just too harsh on my skin and it just irritated my legs and made everything worse this I can shave like pro I mean as often as I want to and it never irritates my skin which is amazing and you just want the let like the least amount of irritation when you already have like the strawberry legs going on so anyways I shave and then afterwards you really want to moisturize that is what every single person will tell you to do so I have been following all of these steps like pretty religiously I would say sometimes I forget to moisturize but um I'm doing all the other things that everyone is telling me to do and I'm gonna try and see if I have a picture of what my legs used to look like so if I do I'll pop that up here but and then I will post a picture up now so this is what my legs are currently looking like and I'll be honest I have not noticed that much of an improvement and I'm pretty disappointed in that like I thought that I was just shaving wrong and that I was just not doing all the necessary steps to get good results and now for the last two years I've been like so committed to this I've repurchased this product so many times and I'm still not noticing any major improvement. I think this is like $26. So is this really worth it to get rid of strawberry legs? Probably not. However, what I will say is that this does a great job at preventing like razor burn for me. So since this does exfoliate, that kind of removes all of the like the KP, the physical bumps that are on your skin. And that's just gonna decrease irritation from your razor. Cause if you don't get that off with exfoliating, you're gonna shave it off, which is not very fun. It's just gonna irritate your skin. So if nothing else, I will keep repurchasing this just because it's an amazing exfoliator and I do not get razor burn anymore after using this. But I still have strawberry legs. I'm still on the hunt for what is going to work best for me. Like if you guys have had strawberry legs and you figured out how to get it like completely gone, please leave a comment down below. I will try whatever. Like if I have enough people telling me that something works, I will do it. My next thing, so I said I was gonna like circle back to IPL. So I am kind of considering trying IPL again. I kind of stopped. I was just a little bit nervous about possible long-term side effects. So I kind of waited it out, gave it some time, let other people test and review it and see if anyone was like, I went freaking blind. Like I burned my leg off or you know, whatever. Um, and nothing has come out. I have read so many articles. I've listened to doctors and estheticians and all kinds of different experts and no one seems to have any major red flags about these at-home IPL devices. So I am considering trying that up again. So um, let me know which device you guys want me to try out because I, I just don't know what else to do at this point and I'm hoping that maybe IPL can fix that. So um, that's my next step. Unless you guys have a better recommendation for me, I'm all ears. Um, yeah, I guess the hunt continues for curing strawberry legs. Why the heck? Do we have to deal with this? Being a girl is like super fun, but also stupid. Okay, bye.